The anti-Semitic flyers were thrown out here in Northwood between 36th Street and 46th Street. Now, residents that I talked to say that they're shocked these people would come into their neighborhood, but also that it seems to be becoming part of a trend. This is not okay. It's not good language. It's not kind. It's not healthy to our community. First, we reported it happening in Boca Raton, and then West Palm Beach and Atlantis. Now, this weekend, Palm Beach and West Palm Beach. It is trending and it's starting to become more frequent. West Palm Beach police sent us this video from a ring doorbell in the Northwood community. The recording was taken yesterday. They tell us that these people here in a U-Haul truck were the ones that were throwing out the anti-Semitic propaganda. It's very, very sad, especially because we do have a large Jewish population. Public Information Officer Mike Jackal says that no arrests have been made, but an investigation is now underway. Unfortunately, um, you know, uh, the First Amendment does not discriminate against hate mongers. So uh, there are, uh, they are entitled to their expression of, uh, of their views. Whether we agree or not, uh, this is a welcoming and diverse city. We don't want it in our town. West Palm Beach police picked up about 150 of these flyers from outside of people's homes, making them one of, if not the only agency to take the time to do so here in the last couple of weeks. I asked them why. Well, you know what? Our officers were out there. We wanted to make sure that there was nothing harmful there. And uh, you know what? It was just the right thing to do. Jekyll says that if you do find these flyers outside of your home, call their non-emergency line and do not confront the group. If anybody sees this, uh, the best thing to do is not confront these people. They are looking for a confrontation. Uh, they are live streaming this. They're looking to engage. Um, so the best thing to do is not engage. Do not confront them. Reporting in Northwood, I'm Danielle C. WPTV News Channel 5.